Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about React Native and how you can set up your environment for debugging in iOS. So let's get started. Uh, basically, you can go to my website and search for React. And uh, you can also obviously search on GitHub or on Google. But what you want to do is get this uh, package called Create React Native App. And, uh, and you can just install it. I've already done that, so let me just show you what, it, uh, what you have to do. So first thing is to install the Create Re React Native App. And uh, once you have installed it, you can create your first app by basically running this uh, application you installed and giving it a name My App, which is what I've given in in my directory so if you uh, print my working directory uh, you can take a quick look that it creates an app.js and some other things so that's how you do that uh, one thing to note is that you might get an error uh, on the Mac uh, or maybe uh, perhaps on the Windows and if you look at it uh, you may need to do these two things to basically set up some uh, max file parameters and uh, when you run the, uh, when you try to create the app, it will probably tell you what to do. So I had to do that. So you could do this. Another thing to keep it in mind is for very ease of debugging and styling. What you want to do is install the React Native Debugger. And uh, the instructions for that are obviously also available on the internet. But uh, what you can do is uh, go into uh, there and it says install React Native Debugger. And uh, to install it is pretty easy on the Mac. You can just do this command or you can just go into the releases packages and get, get the binaries for the various systems. So it's up to you whichever way you want to do that. So I've already done that. I've installed the native uh, React Native Debugger. So first thing to uh, uh, what I typically end up doing here is to uh, by default, the React Native apps gets to be debugged on the port 190001 and uh, you can probably look it up whichever port it is. So basically what you want to do is run the RN debugger that app you installed on that particular port. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here and run it. So this should uh, set up my remote debugger and you can kind of see it being set up and it's kind of waiting for React to connect. So the second step, uh, once uh, your debugger is kind of waiting for the, the React to connect, is obviously to start your app. And we are going to start our React Native app in iOS. And uh, the way to do it is basically npm run iOS. So let me just uh, do that. Here I'm going to run npm run iOS. And I already have Xcode and uh, iOS simulator installed on this Mac. So you should be able to run this on the simulator. So let's just uh, get this thing, give it a minute. It, it just takes a second or two. In the meantime, what you can do is in your app folder, you can look at your app.js. And this where you see your React app. So if you look at the default app that gets con uh, uh, installed, uh, you can see that it, it basically looks like a web uh, React app, but the main difference is that it doesn't have things like div and all this. It has some special components that you can use in your native apps. And for example, view is a component, text is a component, and you can learn more about these components uh, when you uh, go to the website from Facebook uh, for React Native development but basically if you look at it it should run this and it should set up my uh, run this app in the simulator and it runs in in an app called uh, if you would look at it it is uh, going to run this uh, app and uh, you should be able to just see it actually without really even doing anything here Let's just go back into the simulator. So here you can see my app is starting up. And that's all actually I had in my app on the default app. So here you can see this is uh, what uh, has. So let me just remove this. Let us test this here, for example. 
and uh, let's just uh, see in the simulator once it does the live reloading and you can see that it uh, removed all, all these things in here so that's our kind of the basic so the question is uh, we want to be able to uh, debug this and uh, but let me just show you first one more thing so it is the react native debugger has been connected and if you want to look at it you go through the containers and uh, on the simulator itself as you can see it, it it runs in an app called expo and that's why you root component is expo but you can kind of expand it and eventually you will get to uh, what is considered our app so here you can see uh, this is our app and this is uh, the styling we have for the particular app and you can look uh, a little bit here see it says the styles is creates a style sheets and in this javascript object you can accept styles.container and that's uh, the styles it is applying to this particular view this particular component so uh, what you can do in this uh, debugging environment itself is pretty easy here we had the background color as black and let's say i just change it to red for example in the debugging environment and if i go back to my simulator you can see that it has changed to uh, red so actually this is uh, very nice and also what you can do is uh, you can look at your sources here and uh, the sources should be available here for example app.js this is where my sources are i can put in a breakpoint and if i reload my app i should be able to um, uh, uh, get to there so what the, to do to uh, reload your app what you can do is in the simulator for example you can use what is called the shake gesture you just say shake gesture and it will bring up this uh, uh, menu where you can do different things and here I want to just reload my app again so I can see it uh, step in the debugger and uh, I'm doing that right now it's trying to connect to react and uh, let's see uh, what happens here and here you can see it is saying is paused on the breakpoint uh, which is good so what I can do is I can uh, do a step over next function call so you can do your debugging and here in this case I'm just going to let it run so here we are back to where we were looking at the styles and uh, here you can see your app being displayed so this uh, to recap uh, basically all you need to do is to set up uh, this is to install the react native app and then you have to install the react native debugger and change the port and you should be able to run this in iOS pretty straightforward. In my next video, I will show the same thing and uh, show you how you can do this uh, for the Android devices. And again, my website is Gaur Associates and you can search on Google. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.